Boost your English. Unlock the power of academic suffixes. Hello everyone. Welcome back to our English language learning channel. Today, we're going to dive into the realm of academic English and focus specifically on suffixes that indicate comparison and degree. These suffixes are a crucial component of academic writing and speaking. By mastering these, you can significantly improve your English proficiency and sound more scholarly in your communication. Before we jump into specifics, let's quickly revise what suffixes are. A suffix is a letter or a group of letters that we add at the end of a word to change its meaning or function. For example, the word happy can become happiness when we add the suffix ness. Now, let's get to the heart of our discussion, academic suffixes indicating comparison and degree. Here are some commonly used ones. 1. Er. This suffix is often used to form the comparative degree of adjectives and adverbs. For example, smarter, faster. 2. Est. This suffix is used to form the superlative degree of adjectives and adverbs. For example, smartest, fastest. 3. Ish. This suffix indicates approximation or having the quality of something. For example, greenish, childish. 4. Full. This suffix means full of or having. For example, hopeful, successful. 5. Less. This suffix indicates a lack of something. For example, hopeless, endless. Remember, not all adjectives or adverbs can take these suffixes, so it's important to learn which ones do. Let's apply what we've learned with a few examples. I encourage you to pause the video and think about these sentences before we reveal the answers. 1. John is a hard work underscore underscore student. The word hard work should be modified to indicate a quality or characteristic of John. 2. This book is far more interest underscore underscore than the last one I read. The word interest should be modified to show a comparison between the two books. 3. It's a beautiful view, but the endless underscore underscore of the ocean makes me feel lonely. The word endless should be modified to indicate a quality of the ocean. In the first sentence, the word should be hardworking. In the second, interesting. In the third, endlessness. And that's it for today. Hopefully, this video helps you understand the importance of academic suffixes indicating comparison and degree. Remember, mastering these suffixes will allow you to express yourself more accurately and academically in English. Keep practicing, and you'll see improvement in no time. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next video.